Hey friends, Jessica here. So I'm having a little bit of fun on this Saturday. As you know, I love to combine my passions, which is um, I love fashion and I love to be inspired by Haute Couture, the fashion runway, because these kind of trends um, trickle down and they affect a lot of things. And there's so much artistry um, that goes into these creations. So I love to just um, use that as my muse sometimes. So just uh, yesterday, I think they had this Tom Ford show. And when I was flipping through it, this look just totally caught my eye. And I thought, you know, it would be great as to make um, a brush, like a watercolor brush, but like tie dye like that. So I was like, let's see how much I can recreate that. So um, I actually made three different brushes and uh, using my color blending technique, my impressionist color blending technique, which most of you guys should be familiar with this. So um, you can go over here and grab the pattern stamp tool and then grab the tie, one of the tie dye brushes. And I'm just gonna give you a quick little demo here so you can kind of see how that looks. But it's got a really cool sort of watercolor tie dye effect and I am like loving it. And um, one thing that I also, so you can get these, uh, I'll put these brushes on my Patreon um, I try to get put some new brushes every week and I actually um, created a little color palette for you so I've got six color blends and you can use these they're ready to go and remember if you are using my impressionist brushes that you can also make your own color blends by sampling images and when I make the color blends I sample the images and then I repaint them into the patterns and I kind of clean up some of the colors and stuff too. But you can actually sample directly from the images. Like if you, um, I have this open here, I can go grab my rectangular marquee tool and select an area of this tie dye. And then I can go to edit, define pattern or command M, click OK. So that way when I grab my, if I get my pattern stamp tool and then I go and I scroll down, let's see, where was I? I scroll down and grab that pattern that I just defined. Then all of those colors that are in this space are gonna come out of these, this brush. So um, I'll just grab the tie-dye three here. And you can see it in action. And what I love about these brushes is that it kind of keeps that pattern in the background. So if I want to grab another one of my other color blends and kind of go over it. It kind of keeps in the same uh, spot. So it's really cool and I really like kind of a layered effect that I can make. Um, you can just make a lot of cool things. I think this would be great to make some social media backgrounds. I made this by layering some strokes. Um, I also made a little social media graphic template here and I will make this available to you um, on my Patreon to download. And now if you don't have the, um, the what do you call it, the fonts, you can just use one of your other fonts. But I'll have this background available. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited. So you can get these, these brushes on my Patreon. But we have got three here and I'll just go like over them one more time. So let me grab one of my color blends. So we've got the tie-dye one brush, which is like a nice, it's got smooth borders. I wanted something with like not super crazy. And then we've got tie-dye two, which is a little more wild and it has rougher edges. So that's quite cool. And then we've got tie-dye three. Oops, let's undo that. And this one is a bit lighter and a little wilder. So you can have fun with these brushes and you could make some backgrounds for cards. You can make some social media graphics. Um, there's so many different things you can make. You can make some really cool digital papers, um, patterns, whatever. So have a lot of fun with this. If you have any questions, just let me know. And don't forget, you can get the brushes and the color palettes that I specially made for you on my Patreon. 
and have a great Saturday, everybody, and look forward to new videos really soon.